I just smell rich. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am Shade Styles. If you are new, thanks for stopping by. Today, I know you'll probably like, where is she? I'm actually in my bedroom and I am sitting next to my perfume collection. So I decided to do a top 10 fragrance haul or my perfume collection video. <laughs> so yeah, this is something new to my channel. So I thought it would be fun to do. So let's just jump right into it. So, if you're not new to my channel, then you know that one of my all-time favorite perfumes is Gucci Guilty. That is my favorite, all-time favorite perfume. I've been using it for years now, like, years. <laughs> I really love it. It was, like my, it was one of my first luxury perfumes, and I've loved it ever since. I get tons of compliments whenever I wear it, and that's my signature scent. That is my go-to. That is my ride or die. Okay, she goes with me if I could had to pick a couple things and be stranded on the island she would be one <laughs> so I'm just going to show you her so this is Gucci Guilty it comes in this really beautiful gold packaging mine has a couple fingerprints on it because you know I just use it a lot I actually have it in both sizes so this is like the little one depending on what purse I'm wearing I would just throw the little one in my bag but this is the one that I use when I'm in the house getting ready to go out if I'm not going to take it with me if that makes sense or if I'm wearing a bigger bag then I'll take it it also comes with a lotion and I also have the roller on so if I'm using like a clutch or something like that I can just throw that in and it fits perfectly so I really love when perfumes give you the option to have the roller I think that is super convenient so let's just get right into it shall we Okay, so how would I describe Gucci Guilty? For one, I'm going to say Gucci Guilty is a signature smell, a signature scent, fragrance. It's very mature. It's boss-like, okay? It has a very rich scent to it. It's, it smells like money. It smells like luxury. It smells like the finer things in life. It has a hint of um, floral to it. I can also see it being um, worn on a man as well. It's a unisex fragrance. It's light. It's not overpowering, but it does make a statement. It lasts pretty long on the skin. And mm, what else can I say about my beautiful Gucci Guilty? Yeah, it's just, it's a really great scent. It's a really nice scent to have. I feel like every woman should have Gucci Guilty in their collection, especially if you're a boss. As you guys know, I am an entrepreneur. I have my own business. And whenever I'm going out for a meeting or anything like that, this is definitely one of my go-to scents. It can be worn during the day. It can transition into the night. Um, it's just a very overall, well put together scent. I love it. Um, great for date night girls night out just whatever when you just want to smell as good as you look gucci guilty <laughs> okay so the notes for gucci guilty are let me see okay so the notes are pink pepper lilac peach amber and patchoula patchouli don't really know what that is electric romantic fragrance so yeah definitely love that <laughs> So, it was hard for me to transition into other fragrances because I love that one so much. It's so near and dear to my heart. But I have picked up quite a few. So, I just want to jump into these. And if you like this video at the end, please let me know because there's a few more perfumes that I want to get my hands on so we can do a part two. Okay, so our next one that we're going to be talking about is Flower Bomb. Now, everybody heard Wale talk about Flower Bomb, okay? So, I had to pick it up, but I really love this. It lives up to its name. It smells like a flower. It's light. It's sweet. It's floral. It has that floral aspect to it. It has like a, a hint of citrus, if I'm not mistaken. And it, it's just, I love it. It smells so good. Definitely a boss um, fragrance. It's definitely a staple that you need to have. It lasts very long during the day. I don't find myself needing to do touch-ups here and there. It's 
nice it's a nice scent it's not overpowering but you're gonna smell good you're gonna leave as you're gonna you know draw attention when you're wearing that perfume i really love it so okay so the notes for flower balm are jasmine orange blossom and patchouli i hope that i'm pronouncing it right Just trying to get my french on but it is a warm and spicy fragrance it's in the warm and spicy fragrance family so yeah definitely can sense those um notes you know once you read them but i'm gonna give you just my opinion of the scents and then i'll go into the notes because once you read the notes then you're like oh yeah it does smell like that but you know you just want to see what your nose tells you first and i'm trying to you know expand my nose palettes if that's a thing <laughs> my fragrance palette so then keeping up with the victor roth i did get the flower bomb in the night and midnight so that's the regular original flower bomb and then this is flower bomb and midnight i did get the big bottle because i love this one now they do smell very similar but this is a little bit stronger to me it's more of a darker type of fragrance definitely something that i will wear during the nighttime, and i love it very similar to the original flower bomb but a little bit deeper richer and fragrance a little bit it also has almost a little of a masculine touch to it but i really like flower bomb midnight so you definitely want to pick this up and you can transition from day to night if you have the two you could wear this during the day but i think this is great for like a sexy date night you know going to the club or you know anything like that it's definitely great for the night time okay so let's see if the flower bomb notes for midnight compared to the original so it says that it's a floral fragrance family and the scent type is a warm floral and the keynotes are black currants night blossom jasmine and musk so i did tell you it did have a deeper scent to it more like a manly scent so that's where that musk kicks in and that's where that night blossom and black currant kicks in so that's the difference between the two and i definitely you definitely notice the difference between the original flower bomb and the flower bomb midnight all right so moving on to our next perfume this is the new valentino vas vivas I believe I'm saying that right correct me if I'm wrong but look at the packaging you guys this was the first thing that really intrigued me I, so I love the simplicity of the bottle but the top gives it that extra umph so I really love the detail it has the red on both sides and then it has this beautiful gold detailing that goes around it so I just thought that was really beautiful and then they had just have their name at the bottom it just says Valentino in red so i really love that so i picked up this because it, for one the packaging i love packaging but two it just smells so good it reminds me of killian a lot it has like that warm type of spiciness to it it wears a little bit longer than killian so if i want that killian vibe but i just want it to last a little bit longer then i pick up this one i pick up the valentino but i really love this is a great scent Alright you guys, so I'm not sure what I left off saying because my camera died, but I think I was reading the notes for the Valentino. So the notes for the Valentino, it says that it's in the floral fragrance family. It says the scent type is a warm floral and I do agree with that. That's why I said it reminded me of the Killian because it has that warm aspect to it, but it does last longer and it is a bit more point potent because of that floral aspect as well so the keynotes are italian bergamot orange blossom and absolute crystal moss accord so yeah those are the keynotes and i really love that one i think you guys need to pick it up immediately it's new so it's probably not in your collection so if you was considering purchasing a new fragrance i would definitely go pick that one up all right so the next one that we are going to be talking about is my miss dior okay because if you adore her dior her and if you adore yourself then dior yourself period <laughs> so yes this is the blooming bouquet so i really like this one this is the light pink one they have different fragrances for the miss dior so I like the little silver bow detailing. 
it's just really dainty really cute really it's cute she's cute so okay so let's smell it Okay, so this is definitely a floral scent. It's very sweet. It's very light. It's friendly. It's inviting. I feel like this is a great daytime fragrance. I wear this during the day most of the time. It's because it's very light, you know, and when you're just running errands or just whatever, going to work, going to school, I feel like this is a great fragrance for that. Um, not so much in the night because I don't feel like it would wear as long or I, not not that it won't wear as long but it won't stand out that much at night and i feel like when you're looking for a nighttime fragrance you want something that stands out and i feel like at least in my case when i look for a nighttime fragrance i'm looking for something that's going to stand out that's going to um command a room and you know like that but this is more like nice fresh clean that's how i would describe this it. very nice fresh clean fresh out the shower type of vibes okay so let's get into the notes the fragrance family is floral obviously the scent type is a fruity floral so it's definitely more on the fruity side light fresh fruity all right and the keynotes are damascus rose peony and white musk so yeah it just has a very fresh rosy type of vibe so that's a mystical Alright, so the next perfume that we're going to be talking about is the YSL Libre. We have all seen it. She's beautiful. She is a vibe. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we have this gold rope band, the sleek black top. It's just she's she's beautiful. Okay, she she's she's bomb just from the packaging alone. So let's let's give her a spray. Ooh, Miss Libre, Miss Libre. So when I think about a perfume, this is what comes to mind, okay? This is an overall well put together perfume. This is a classic fragrance. I feel like this is like graduating from like your grandmother, your mother's type of perfume, but coming into like the new age, millennial type of bossy entrepreneur type of vibe like I don't know this this perfume is just very bossy but also very classy very classic okay it's a very classic scent I think that any woman any age group would appreciate this um perfume it's daytime friendly but nighttime appropriate I love this for the nighttime again this is great for a business meeting this is great for a date night a girls night out this is just going to make you stand out and full of body sprays <laughs> this perfume is definitely going to make you stand out in the crowd okay i just love 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 this libre let me read the notes to you guys really quickly it's in the floral fragrance family the scent type is a warm floral and the keynotes are lavender essence orange blossom musk accord so just like the what was it just like the flower bomb it has that orange blossom and that must accord which i really really like it's also a warm floral which we have already noticed that i really like and it's a floral so i think that we kind of have a theme of what my perfume taste is so yeah i mean i like what i like it works well so now keeping up with the ysl we are going to go into the black opium we have all seen the black opium everywhere everybody has it if you don't have it you need to go pick it up a lot of people have the original one which is orange i have the blue one it's like the navy blue and then they have a pink one now i really wanted to love the pink one but i didn't i i gotta be honest i really didn't like it it was something about it it smells kind of not cheap but it, it reminds mm, I don't know it just reminded me of like an older type of fragrance and I don't want to smell old I want to smell mature but not old if you know what I'm saying and then the classic one I really did enjoy that scent really like that one so the classic is the orange one like I said but this blue one baby 
and this is a new one the blue one is a new one when she showed me the blue one well when i smelled the blue one i was like yep that's the one so if you want to know which one to get pick up the blue one um in color order i would say blue then orange then the pink one but definitely i love the blue one if you're able to get your hands on it girl get it so <sighs> maybe i need to oops. okay so the blue one to me it has a very clean scent it has a clean scent i'm scenting floral it has a little bit of a mm, what is that it's clean it's floral i don't know i can't describe it but it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful i feel like it's great for the daytime it's great for the nighttime it's light it's not as um and your face as libre so if you want like a happy medium into your perfume you don't like for your perfume to be so loud even though it's a good loud you just want to be a little bit more toned down but you just want to smell good a little that's how you want to that's the scent that's the vibe you want to give off then definitely the um black opium so let me read the keynote see you guys my room is just smelling so good right now, spraying all these perfumes. I mean, goodness. And it's limited edition. I didn't even know it was limited edition, guys. You better go get that one ASAP. Okay, so the keynotes are drum roll, please. Again, you guys, this is crazy. So the fragrance family is warm and spicy. The scent type is warm, sweet, girl. Gourmand. and the keynotes are coffee orange blossom and abyssinian absinthe absinthe i don't know but that warm and sweet and spicy is definitely my vibe clearly because all the fragrances i have are in the same family so yeah now we're gonna go on to what should we talk about next Okay, so now we're gonna move on to my Burberry perfume. Okay, so she's cute, she's pink, she's very simplistic. Okay, so she looks like this. Just very simple. There is the Burberry embroidered into the bottle, if you can see. So let me tell you about this one, okay? I have a little story behind this perfume. So I was actually picking up my Valentino and the girl from the Burberry counter just kept talking to me. She just kept coming over to me asking me did I want to smell Burberry but I knew that I was going for the Valentino but I didn't want to like seem standoffish so I did let her spray it so I can um, try it out. So when she sprayed it at first I didn't like it but as it like settled into the air and into my skin I really enjoyed this scent. So the Burberry is a very light scent. This is like my everyday, fresh out the shower, running errands type of perfume. Sometimes you don't always want to grab your like favorite perfume when you're just running errands. So I feel like you have to have like your daytime perfume, your running errands perfume, your date night, your um, business meeting perfume. You just need different variations of fragrances for different occasions, in my opinion. So let's see what she smells like. Okay, she's very light, she's very sweet, she's fruity. Yeah, she's light, sweet, florally, fruity. So again, like I said, this is my daytime running errands perfume. I just want to smell good, you know, throw on a nice sweater and jeans or a sweatsuit, you know, it's the fall. So when you just, you know, running errands and you want to look cute, you want to smell good, maybe you got your hair on a little ponytail or something, that's her. Fresh out the shower, you're lounging around the house with your boo, you want to smell cute, that's her. <laughs> going to work, going to school that's her don't want to draw too much attention but still want to give them a when they pass that's her so she was she was a hidden treasure she was something that i wasn't expecting but i'm happy that i have her all right you guys so i don't know if you have been keeping track but we have went through nine cents and we are going to stop at 10 and we are going oh her notes okay so for burberry 
the fragrance family is floral the scent type is fruity floral and the key notes are dark berries jasmine musk and amber so again there's a theme to all of my perfumes these just work really well with my body with my natural oil and my natural scent they just all work really well so i guess that's why i gravitate towards the same type of families whether i'm looking for a daytime perfume or evening perfume we see that i like what i like <laughs> So that was actually number nine and as you've seen by the title of this video we are talking about my top 10 fragrances but but there's a but i will be doing a part two because i did want to add a few more fragrances to my collection so make sure that you stay tuned and your post notifications are on so you will be notified when i upload part two so the last perfume that we're going to talk about is coco noir she's beautiful she's classic she's just everything okay we love we love chanel okay i'm a chanel girl we love chanel like chanel bag chanel perfumes chanel Ch Ch chanel okay so <laughs> i'm a fool y'all don't mind me i just love her let's get into the detailing of this packaging it's just beautiful it's like chanel is just like the packaging for chanel is just so timeless it's so beautiful it's just it's everything thumbnail all right so i got coco nori and let's spray her oh baby okay so coco nori is like hello i arrived i'm a boss yes they asked to see the boss so they sent me okay she is making money moves she is a ceo she is the president okay she is the founder okay she's she's the one signing the checks okay coco nori is signature where here there she's signing the checks she's signing them she's writing them she's cashing them she is all of the above okay she is a very bossy fragrance i love a boss scent it's very luxurious you know that you know she she's not playing she's she's not playing when you walk in the building smelling like coco nori you're not playing okay so she smells very hmm i know there has to be some type of musk in her i feel like there's a hint of like dusk or um wood something along those lines she's gonna be a more um potent fragrance she's going to last longer she's going to um stand out more so definitely more of a like a business meeting type of vibe um a date night or anything in the evening she's not a running errands type of um perfume no you want to save her for for the good stuff okay <laughs> i'm sorry y'all i'm crazy it's late i'm tired but yeah I, I really love her very luxurious it's a very luxurious scent more of a mature scent so more of a bossy scent so you know that, that's that's what she is but let's see what the notes are okay because i smell a lot so maybe i'm wrong but i don't think so okay so for fragrance family she is a floral clearly because i love florals i guess the scent type is a classic floral and that's exactly what i get it's a very classic a very you know almost familiar like your mother might have worn it you know your auntie might have worn it it's, it gives you that classic vibe you know like this is a scent that is here to stay she's not leaving she's timeless okay she's not going out of style she is the style that's Coco Noir. <laughs> and those are my kids, if you just heard that. The keynotes are Jasmine Absolute, Bourbon Vanilla, Rose, and Absolute. So, yeah. I'm definitely getting that that bourbon. The bourbon is the, the deeper um, scent that I was smelling. So, yes. And the hints of vanilla. Definitely picking up on those vibes. Yeah. All right, so you guys, that was my top 10 luxury fragrances, okay? So I gave you a little bit of daytime. I gave you a little bit of nighttime. I gave you young and flirty. I gave you mature and bossy. So if you enjoyed fume haul or whatever you want to call it, then please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which fragrance you think you'll be picking up or if you have any of the fragrances that I do, what's your favorite, what's your favorite, um, 
fragrance so yeah you guys if you're new to my channel i would love it if you subscribe join the family make sure your post notifications are on so you'll be notified the next time i upload and if you want to see a part two let me know comment down below if you think you know which perfumes i'm picking up next just based off of what i've shown you today because i definitely have my eye on about three or four new perfumes that i'm going to be picking up sometime during the week so yeah let me know if you want to see a part two thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video bye